Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another vlog. Today is Thursday, and I'm actually headed to my friend Lyra's house. We are going on our little walk and chat. We're gonna walk and like get a little coffee and just hang out, get some outside time, get some steps in. I get to see her baby. Oh, I just love him. He's so freaking cute and he's almost a year old now, which is crazy. Lyra is one of my friends from high school back in Tennessee, but she's lived here for the last few years and she's just the best. So we're gonna spend some time together and then for the rest of the day today, I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna get up to. Um, I have like a couple errands that I need to run and depending on how much walking we do, I might try to do some sort of like workout. I kind of hurt my shoulder the other night. I genuinely think it's because I slept on it weird. So I've just been trying to like take it easy and just like walk mostly, but I, it's feeling a lot better today. So I think I'll be able to do like some sort of a, a workout, like a light workout. And then we will see what we get up to for the rest of the day, but it's a Beautiful sunny day. Oh, feel light. And we're gonna start it off with one of my favorite things. Drew and I usually do this on the weekend, but I'm doing it on a weekday, and that is a walk and a treat. Those are the two most important things, a walk and a treat. So let's do it. much later now it's like noon and oh my god am i sweaty but that was so nice we walked for probably like three miles or so and i actually did some damage at lululemon surprisingly if you watch my main channel i tried some of their stuff um in like a fitting room try on video and it was miserable but a lot of people said to give them another shot and like maybe try to order some stuff online which like they're basically sold out of everything in my size online as well that i wanted anyway and Granted, I looked during a sale, so whatever. But we happened to walk by a Lululemon and they had a bunch of sale racks and I was like, uh, yeah, I wanna try that. So got some stuff for a main channel video. So I'm not gonna show you now. I'll show, you know, in a main channel video soon. I'll try everything on and everything and kind of figure out my sizing. But like giving them a second chance, you know what I mean? So um, that's fun. That was like sort of an impromptu thing and got to have lots of good chats and see beautiful scenery and I loved it. And now I'm heading home and I'm gonna make some lunch. I really need to shower now because I am profusely sweating and I'm not gonna do a workout because I just walked like three, four miles or something. And I'm feeling great. The endorphins are kicking. One of those like, uh, what do you call them? Celebrity tour buses is going by. I wonder if you'll be able to see it. There they go. All right, I started this at a light, but now I'm driving, so we'll talk later. We'll catch up later. I'm home now making lunch. I'm basically heating up some leftovers. We had like chicken rice and veggies last night, so we actually bought way too many veggies, so I'm air frying some zucchini right now, and then I've got some chicken and rice in here, and then I'll just make like a little rice bowl, but Drew is doing this thing that we saw on TikTok where if you haven't tried the Trader Joe's chili crunchy onion, onion, onion or something crunch. like that, yeah. Basically you put like a clump of that stuff in the pan, in a pan, and then you put an egg on top of it, like you crack an egg on top of it, and then you fr it's like you're frying the egg in the chili oil. Here's what it looks like. So far, it's looking pretty good. Do you flip it too? No, I'm just gonna let it stand. Oh, okay. Dang! That looks really good. Sexual. Okay, it's hard to tell because I put Parmesan cheese and balsamic glaze on it, but we got some zucchini, some chicken, and some rice. And gotta have my favorite golden kiwi on the side, obviously. And then the spicy water of the day is Aha Blueberry Pomegranate. I actually like this one. Drew said he hates it, but I really like it. I think it's delish. And he said his sandwich is good and that he would try that technique again. So in case you're curious, it turned out pretty good. <laughs> Just got out of the shower. Oh, that was 
fantastic and amazing. I'm trying to go one more day without washing my hair because I need to test out my hair tool for a main channel video tomorrow, but I put on my Old Navy set that I showed in a couple vlogs ago, I think, and I ended up ordering, like exchanging it for the right size, and it's so cute. So here's what it looks like. It's like a nice little cropped pant moment and then a matching tank top. They also had like a shorts version, but I don't know, like with fall and winter coming, I thought pants would be cute. So I'm actually, it's very echoey in here. Hold on. I'm actually going to start, I'm coming in my room to get this book, but I think I'm gonna like sit on the couch and read for a little while because I'm a little bit ahead on some work. So I'm gonna take advantage of it. And I finished Evelyn Hugo. What is it called? Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo last night. And it was good. I wasn't like, as crazy i think it got way overhyped it was a really good book i really enjoyed it and i would highly recommend it i won't give any spoilers i just realized i just listed off a bunch of spoilers but i did enjoy it i really did enjoy it but like i don't know i wasn't like blown away but my friend laura gave me this book or she let me borrow it the last time i was at her house and it's another book by the same author it's called malibu rising so i'm gonna try it out i'm gonna start this this is how you know you're getting old <laughs> when you're just like i'm just gonna tuck into a nice book but I'm really enjoying getting back into reading and also I'm trying to read, I think I mentioned this, like all of my physical books that I have. I have this one. I have It Happened One Summer that I haven't started yet, but I will after this. And then I've got like a few more and then I think I'm gonna go back to my Kindle or maybe I'll like interchange with the Kindle in between because it's just so much easier, especially at night. I read like every single night before going to bed and it's just like part of my nightly routine. I like fill out my little journal and then I read and it's so peaceful and it's just so much easier laying in bed reading the Kindle, but I don't know, we'll see. But for now, we're gonna have some reading time. I was gonna say good morning, but it is fully like 1 p.m. So hi, it's the next day. I'm actually getting ready to do some filming. It's my first like filming day since being in this new setup. I love it so much and everything has held up so far with the command strips and all that, but I'm actually doing a, an impromptu main channel video. It was what I showed you yesterday, all the Lululemon stuff I got. And then I think I might do a fitting room video today. I don't know. It's gonna depend on how much time I have because I actually have dinner plans tonight. I'm gonna meet up with some friends that I've been friends with online for like a few years, but I haven't met in person, except I've met one of them in person, but I haven't met the other in person. So that'll be really fun. So we're gonna get like some drinks and some dinner. It's at one of my favorite places. It's out near like West Hollywood and it's called Gracias Madre. It's like a vegan place, but it's so good. It'll be really fun to catch up and kind of like hang and have some girl time. But in the meantime, I have a lot of work to do. So let's get to it. And also this, ugh. I did book a hair appointment today with a new hairstylist here in LA that I have never used before. She was recommended on Instagram. So hopefully she can help me fix my baby bangs situation. All right, it's a little while later. I've changed and I actually am wearing my cute little handmade shirt that I got from the Melrose Trading Post. If you saw it like a couple vlogs ago, it's so cute. I am just wearing like a normal brown colored bra underneath it. I don't really care. And the reason I change is because I am going to do a fitting room video today. I'm gonna head out and do that right now. Like it's the afternoon though, so it's gonna be kind of busy. We'll see. But um, we're gonna ignore that. And this is what I decided to pair it with. These pants are from, um, ASOS, I think I want to say, and they're like probably my favorite pants, and then my yellow Converse, and that's the fit. Let's go to the fitting room. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That was an experience, that's for sure. It was one of those experiences where like nothing is going your way. First of all, I was sweating profusely. It was super busy in there. Not to mention it just wasn't the most fantastic selection or my size, if you feel what I'm saying. But overall it was fine. Like I feel fine, I don't feel like sad. Sometimes I feel like crap after leaving fitting rooms, but 
actually feel fine. So now I'm gonna head home. I have about two hours until I have to leave again because I'm going out for drinks, like I said, or dinner. I don't know why I keep saying drinks. It's literally dinner. Apparently I'm excited to have a drink. I'm probably just gonna Uber there. So that is the plan is to just like head home, relax with Drew for a little bit and then head back out again. So let's do it. Ignore my hair. <laughs> I was just laying down on the couch. I think I had dozed off for a second, but I'm getting ready now, or I'm gonna start getting ready now. And I'm trying to decide what I'm gonna wear to dinner tonight because it's definitely like, LA is funny because it'll be like super hot during the day and then it cools off at night. So I'm like, do I need to wear something more like long sleeve? Honestly, no, because it's like 80 degrees outside, but this is what I came up with so far. I will be cleaning this room later, but not right now. So I have this like one shoulder top. I actually showed this in a main channel video. This one shoulder top and then this thrifted midi skirt go kind of cute together. And then I was thinking maybe like some cowboy boots. I don't know if that's too dressed up, but honestly this place can go either way. Like it can be really dressy or it can be like pretty cash. And it is like a Friday night. So I'm thinking maybe Maybe a little more dressy might be the vibe. I've got to like fix my hair and touch up my makeup, but otherwise my only other option, where is it? The other one that I was kind of thinking is this brown dress. I've worn it before. I wore it when we came and visited here back in April before we moved back. And it's like kind of a more bodycon type of thing. This is totally out of focus. Okay, great. But I feel like it might be a little too warm out right now for that to happen. And our reservations are at 7.30. The sun sets at like 8. I'm literally gonna sit outside and see like how warm it is. Oh, yeah, it's fine. It'll be fine. Anyway, okay, enough of that. Just had to make sure because my house is frigid. Um, I just like to keep my AC very, very, very cold. So I'll grab my cowboy boots. Ugh. And then I will actually go ahead and grab this cute little purse that I thrifted recently. It's from Thread Up, and it's like a handmade in italy cutie little purse like this do i want to wear something else oh god i do this all the time Ugh, i can't decide the vibe can you tell i don't get out much i'm just gonna stick with it i'm gonna own it okay let's touch up our hair and makeup and then get some dinner 